Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. Alright, this is another one. On this one, it says, Young Nigerian medical doctor who treated injured victims from the lucky shootings dies from COVID-19. A young Nigerian medical doctor, Dr. Val, who was one of the doctors that treated injured victims from the lucky shooting, is currently the talk of social media. Some Nigerian Twitter users have taken to the platform to mourn a young Nigerian doctor who died from coronavirus. The late doctor identified as Dr. Val is said to be one of the doctors who treated people with injuries from the protest which held at Lekki Tollgate. I'm going to read some of the tweets to you right now. According to Eloho, at early 2009, she said, and I thought COVID-19 was a thing of the past in Nigeria. At official underscore Nana, replying to at early 2009, at forever deb underscore and at and the joke care W. She said, me too, Dr. Val treated my friend the night of the massacre. My friend and I participated actively in the protest. I am nob. And uh, Abudu has replied, he said, this guy is my friend. We were talking just a few weeks ago. He was one of those who treated people with injuries at the Lekki Tollgate protest. This can't be true. We were praying for him to stay safe that day because he had sleepless night. No, no, no. All right. At Forever Deb underscore, I said that if you were an active protester, please, if you start feeling funny, go and do a COVID, a COVID test. I know two people that have it and one of them is struggling for his life now. Don't say, God forbid, just prevent it from spreading. I beg. Hmm. All right, Kevin Oldans has said that the news of the death of Dr. Val breaks my heart. Didn't know him personally, but we've had some interactions on the T-Health. On problematic, jovial young man full with dreams. 2020 has taken too much already. Hmm. That's serious. Okay, and then Feddy at underscore the underscore immortal i said that dr val was riding with me from the one here from my first account until now almost felt like i knew him personally a big bold man them covid and at ferami underscore things i said that covid is real val took care of nsas protesters now fought for his life and died fighting rest on soldier hashtag a evil god rest your soul aproko doctor at aproko underscore doctor underscore doctor rest in peace dr val covid 19 took you from house but it can't erase your memories you were fit as a fiddle you live on in her heart rest on brother rest on and then um, a lot of people have also reacted to this on social media and in fact it's only god that will save us in this country well a lot of things have been happening on social media before now and as it is i tried to confirm this news and i got some legit information that this news is real because some people have been trying to say this is not real that the government was trying to deceive people they're, they're trying to put fear in the minds of people that COVID-19 killed this doctor so that people will be discouraged from protesting all right well the truth of the matter is 
I don't know this guy from anywhere, but I see no reason why somebody would want to showcase himself like he is dead. I don't know if you understand. Why would somebody put down himself for people to be saying he's dead while he's alive because of money or something? I don't understand. If a lot of people are saying this man is not dead, that he is alive, that it, it was just the plan of the federal government to make money to be able to stop people from further protests. <laughs> well, to me, I will, I will say it's uncalled for. But according to what we have gathered so far, checking his timeline and everything, it has been declared that this man is dead. Well, that is what we have been able to gather anyway. But some people are even saying that, well, if at all this man is dead, that they should not even put the propaganda on COVID-19. They should not deceive people that it was COVID-19 that killed him, that they should just tell us the truth that because this man had been rescuing the victim, they have decided to kill him, to send Ayad as a send. That's what Nigerians are even saying right now, to kill this man so that he won't be able to rescue more of the people. Well, I see no reason why that can that should be done anyway. Well, to me, if at all this is done, then Nemesis must catch up with anyone who has no done this because this man has done a great job by saving lives and my prayer is the good lord should continue to protect us all in this country that is to tell you nobody is safe and that is it nobody is safe in this country that's what that means and for you to be saved you need we need prayers we need to pray fervently so that things will work out for good. Because I don't understand what is going on in this country. What is actually happening? What are we looking for? Nobody to trust any longer. Nobody to, to rely on. Instead, it's tons. Wow, this is so unfair that this man would die in such a way. Because it is confirmed that this man is dead. Wow. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. And that is all I can say on this for now. Well, that is it, my people, on this one. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.